Hi guys, today I'm reviewing, uh, bleh, bleh, bleh. today I am reviewing Hater by David Moody. This was one of the books I had decided I would read for my August books to be read pile. I have to figure out a more eloquent way of saying that. Anyway, so I wanted to give you a brief review of the book. So the book Hater, I have the paperback edition here, um, it's told from the point of view of Danny McCoin. Um, Danny is a working father uh, of three children. Um, his wife Lizzie, they, uh, they live in an apartment with their three kids. They're more on the broke side um, than anything else. They don't have a whole lot of money. Um, Danny works at just your regular white collar company and is the average workaday frustrated man who not isn't really a big fan of his job, just does it because it makes money and uh, provides an income for him and his family to survive on. So the book kicks off with a series of different startlingly violent um, crimes being committed, like people being killed basically. And so with each new little chapter of the book, there is a story of violence or death that precedes it up to a certain point in the book. Um, these events become more and more frequent and soon they actually start appearing in the book. Um, it's weird, the murder events that are in front of the chapters for a while don't seem to have any connection because you don't really see a whole lot of violence in the book at that point, um, but then the two things sort of intersect and violence becomes a regular part of the book. So um, what's happening in the story is that seemingly regular people are becoming these murderous, rampaging, bloodthirsty killers that are quickly coined as haters. And so the haters are basically seen as bloodlusting people who will just murder with seemingly no reason. Um, they just are like straight up killers. And everybody's afraid of becoming a hater because it just happens and nobody quite understands why. So um, uh, most of the middle chunk of the book is Danny trying to figure out how he can provide for his family when basically the entire or their city basically is haters versus everybody else and it's every man for himself. Um, they scavenge, they start um, not paying for food, all that sort of stuff. And then um, near the end of the book and uh, there it happens that Danny actually murders his father-in-law because Danny has become a hater. And he actually thinks it's everybody else in the house that's a hater and not him until he realizes later on that, yes, he had become a hater. And he believes his daughter, Ellis, is also a hater because when he turned, um, he could easily tell by looking at everybody else, um, he just knew instinctively that they weren't one of him or they were a hater as well. And Ellis, he saw that in her. So um, he ends up being left by his wife and children um, excuse me, obviously because his wife wants to get her kids away from her murderous husband as soon as possible. So Danny actually ends up finding his way to another group of haters where they kind of chat and he learns a bit more about what it means to be a hater and what other people have had, um, what other experiences other people have had as haters and kind of their stories about how they became a hater. And then, um, the government makes an appearance very much, the, the the government kind of reminded me and the military of the German military, like the Gestapo. So they start rounding up the haters, um, putting them in vans and driving them out to the middle of nowhere. Um, they're basically herded into these vans and there's very little space, kind of reminiscent of the cattle cars that Jews were sent to concentration camps in. And they do end up at this field for all intents and purposes. They're on a road and they can't really see a whole lot. They're lined up along the road and there's thousands of people. And slowly but surely they're all actually being herded toward a building. And they get closer and closer and um, they're starting to figure out what's going to happen. Um, it's actually a building, it's a slaughterhouse. So as they get to the slaughterhouse, they're being identified and tagged and then they're being 
killed, basically. Um, so at that point in the book, Danny gets herded into the slaughterhouse and he sees that basically the whole slaughterhouse is full of corpses of other haters. And he sees that the guards um, are going to get ready to shoot a bunch of them. And there's also gas in the ceilings, kind of reminiscent of the gas chambers. So they're all going to die. But then that base or slaughterhouse is attacked by another force. And it turns out it's another band of haters. So that's kind of where the book ends. Um, Danny finds a bit more information out about how haters came about, how, just exactly how many of them there are out there. And the book ends with Danny basically saying, we're at war, it's us against them, because it's that simple. So um, I did read the book probably over the course of, I want to say a week. Um, but I don't necessarily know that I like it yet. <laughs> it's weird. I think it's one of those books that I'm going to have to sit with for a while before I decide if I actually like it or not. I found Danny to be a very annoying protagonist. The stereotypical middle class white male who works a white collar job and is bored and thinks he's far above it is so cliche at this point. I, I got really annoyed reading the first chunk of the novel where that's really Danny's focus. Um, so once it progressed and he became a hater, I found myself more interested because there was a reason for him being the way he was. So if you are not interested in reading books with lots of violence, um, nary a positive or optimistic view in sight, or um, I, I wouldn't read that, <laughs> this book, if you were into that sort of stuff. Um, if you like mystery, if you like crime, if you like... Um, Let's see. If you like mystery and you like crime novels, you're probably going to like this. Um, I would just, if you're interested or you think you're interested, maybe pick it up at a library and read a few chapters before you decide if you want to commit to buying it or not. Um, like I said, I'm on the fence about whether I liked it or not. I do have the second book in the series. Uh, it's actually a trilogy. The second book is called Dog Blood, so I will be reading that, um, I think, for the month of October. I'm not going to read it in September because there's some other books I want to read, but uh, maybe by the time I'm done the series I'll know if I actually like the first book or not. Anyway, I hope you liked my review. If you have any questions about the books, let me know, and I will talk to you again soon. Bye!